If I call your name and you're here, speak up nice and loud. It's not about me, it's about them. And I want to make sure they, the students are not missing out on more of an education. Teaching from the safety of her own home, Amber Rodenfels looks more like an air traffic controller than an educator. It's just kind of a constant go-between. Um, I want to make sure I can see the kids, so I have like my Zoom on one screen. Um, I have what's called Land School Air on another screen, and that's where I can kind of like monitor what the kids are working on to make sure they are staying on task. Right. And then on my other computer, <laughs> I have the Empower Up, I have my email up, and then if I'm going in between some other stuff, I'll have that up there just so I can, yeah, stay on top of everything. And while it may all seem chaotic, it's working. I mean, we're definitely seeing some growth and there's even some students who are actually, I think, thriving more without the distractions of being in a classroom. Next one up. Uh, definitely try to make it as interactive as possible. The day begins with some engaging games with small prizes that Amber personally delivers to the homes of the winners. Then it's down to work. Next word, ointment, ointment. Remote learning will never replace in-person learning, but it's come a long way in the last nine months. Say from where I was last March to now, I mean, it's night and day. Amber says the teachers are always collaborating and sharing new ideas and strategies. She adds that the increasing number of online resources like SharePod are dramatically improving the learning process. Is that a monster? While students are scheduled to return to the classroom in January, there will no doubt be instances during the spring when individual classrooms will need to go remote. If and when that happens, here is some advice for parents. Definitely reach out to your teacher and then really work on consistency. Give your kid a schedule, have them you know, follow that schedule, and also if possible, if they can have their own little workplace too, because I know that really helps them out. Remote learning isn't ideal, but any kind of learning is still valuable. I love seeing the spark in someone's eyes when they get something that you've taught them. Nice job, everybody.